Welcome to my 2021 holiday card series. You can find the reference material for all the paintings in this series by clicking on the project page link in the description of this video. We're ready to begin this Christmas card and uh, this is on a 5 by 7 inch uh, greeting card, blank greeting card, made of 140 pound cold pressed watercolor paper. And this is the template for it. You'll find this template in my learning center on my website and it's on the project page. So go to the learning center page, click on the projects at the top and you'll find all the information associated with this, the template, the uh, reference photo and the, the link to the video. So um, this particular card, I'm gonna be painting um, with uh, a wash around some of these shapes and I'll be putting a, a light glaze here but first I'm, I'm going to create some snowflakes here and I'm going to use some masking fluid for this this is a good way to do this so I have a masking fluid pen and uh, I'm just going to uh, draw these lines uh, that, that are on the template that represent the snowflakes but then I'm just going to put some little marks off the edges diagonally to create my snowflake and when you're using these bottles like this you you don't need a, a lot of pressure you just uh, light pressure it, it, it's almost like writing with a rolling writer so there's a snowflake Put another one in here, a larger one. And then I'm gonna put these diagonal marks off the, uh, the line that I made in the center. When you're using one of these masking fluid pens, you, I, I fill mine my own, but uh, you, you can get them pre-filled. Uh, you, you also want to make sure you cap it as soon as you, you're ready to stop uh, to keep them from clogging. So, like I said, just light pressure and, and let the let the fluid come out by its just like you're writing with a roller pen. Very simple. So this is going to give me my large snowflakes. And I have my snowman. Um, like I said, you want to make sure you cap that right away. The other thing I want to do is I want to create uh, just the feeling of snow blowing around. I have the large snowflakes, but I also want to create the feeling of snow blowing around. So I take a, an old toothbrush here, I dip it in uh, some masking fluid, and I just uh, kind of let that uh, splatter on there. And you can see that I got a big drop. So what I'm gonna, and I really don't want that. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll just let that dry, and then I'll pull it up before I'm ready to paint. So this just gives me uh, just the, the feeling of snow blowing around. And I kind of like this effect when I'm doing things like this, this subject. So just a little bit. That's all there is to it. Like I said, I got a big drop there. The best way to handle that is just to let it dry and then just pull it up before you're ready to paint. So we're going to let this air dry now. Okay, the masking fluid is dry and I'm going to go ahead and put the paint on here, start to paint. Uh, so I'm going to kind of silhouette this snowman in the slope. I'm going to paint it sky. And we have all this masking and the snowflakes in here. So I'm going to turn this upside down to start. And I'm going to paint around uh, these edges. And you could use really any colors that you want. Uh, I'm going to start with some cerulean blue. And uh, let's see. I think I'll take uh, a little rose matter.
and uh, I'll work with these colors, I think. So I have a cerulean blue and some cerulean blue with a little rose matter in it. So I'm going to start uh, a little darker at the uh, right off the edge. And I'm just going to mix some of these colors. I'll take some of the violet, let it kind of mix in there. And I want to go around uh, the snowman. And that's kind of a tight uh, edge or shape there. So I'm going to take a, a smaller brush to get around that snowman. And I'll go back to my large brush. Let's see what we have here. All right, now I'm going to go back to the larger brush. So I have a combination of some blue and some violet. And uh, I might actually take a little uh, ultramarine. This is still wet. And I'm going to drop just a little bit of that darker blue kind of off the, the horizon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the extra, extra moisture. And now I'm going to uh, dry this and then I'll flip it back over. Actually, before I flip it over, I can just go ahead and uh, see. No, I'm going to wait. I'm going to dry this because I don't want to. I was going to put this wash on here on this edge, but I, I, this is too wet to do that. So let me go ahead and dry it, and then we'll go back and we'll start to get that in. All right, that's dry. And uh, so I've turned this back over, and I'm going to take the uh, same colors. And I'm just going to help to find this edge. And I'm going to take some water. I could have kept this upside down when painting this. But... edge and now I'm going to take a little bit of the these colors I'm using and, and just put a little bit here now I'm going to take some water here now let me dry this so this is dry and I could have gone darker but I chose not to and I'm just going to keep it kind of a middle value and I'm going to take my my pickup eraser and I'm going to remove the masking fluid Pull this tape off. You want to pull it off slowly. Uh, you know, when I put this mount this to my board, I use masking tape right around the edge so I have a, a, a border. But you have to be careful with these cards if you're using this card stock because it, it, it can pull up pretty easily. So 
So I slowly pull it up and I kind of, I pull, pull the tape away from the edge just slightly uh, to keep it from pulling into the area I've painted should anything come off. And there we have, you know, a very simple card. A lot of it's done with just the initial masking of the snowflakes and the splatter. And then just painting around the shapes and these edges with, with just a, a wash. You can make this any color you want. Um, and um, uh, do a little experimentation. So I hope you have fun painting.